Hi again, Gordy Roth. Um, some of you guys on the KLR forum, or at least one person asked what uh, an accumulator groove was, or were at least interested in, in to see how it worked. Um, anyway, this is a Triumph piston I get from Map Cycle, and um, it has an accumulator groove, which is this groove right here, between the first and second rings. Nothing goes in here. It is just, um, if you Google labyrinth seal, it's kind of the same deal. It, um, it lets the air pressure drop, or the fuel air charge pressure, whatever. It lets the barometric pressure drop between the first and second rings, so it kind of dampens the blow to the second ring. And these normally use conventional rings. I use gapless rings with them. This one is going to have gapless rings, and especially I've used gapless rings on really small bores like stuff like a CB350 Honda without an accumulator groove, and it's fine. But um, with ones this big, and even this big, this one, um, if you don't have that accumulator groove with a gapless ring, gapless second ring, it will, um, the rings will flutter. Um, so I will have to machine that in there, and I will set it up and do that. The way I'm going to have to do this, because it's got four sides on it, I mean, with this one, I could probably get away with holding it in a three jaw, but maybe not. I would hold it in a four anyway, because you can get it absolutely straight. Anyway, I'm going to have to hold it two places here and two places here, and just be really careful. I'm going to have to put bumpers under that so it doesn't nick it up. Probably going to use pennies here, and believe it or not, pennies are wonderful for holding stuff because they are actually really, really soft, so they won't even mark up the aluminum when you tighten the jaws down. It'll just smush the penny into this and not even leave a mark on here. So, um, I'm not so sure about this graph hole coating. I may use, I've got some stuff that's like cardboard, but it's not. It's, it's like a bunch of layers of paper glued together, and I may try that. Uh, the tool bed I'm going to use, this one, it works, but, um, like this one doesn't have a very deep accumulator groove. I'm going to make it deeper in this one. It's more of just a radius. This one's got a smaller nose radius on it, but I don't see how that's going to really hurt anything. So, I'm going to use that one, and I'm going to machine it to where it kind of looks like this, to where I'm leaving about, I'd say, a 30-second margin from the edge of the groove to the, I mean, the groove in this one's a little bit wider. So, that's how that's going to go. But this one's going to be easy to set up, because... I've got this to indicate off of, and I've got this nice circle around here to indicate off of, so getting it straight in there shouldn't be any big deal. Anyway, on to setting it up. Okay, if this works, I'm a genius. If this fails miserably, I'm stupid. Anyway, so, my way of not marking up the skirt at all is do not touch the outside of the skirt. So I put a penny under here and a penny over here. And then I've loosened the jaw up, and I've got both th those jaws on the inside of that. So, I've put a penny down. I oh, can't see it. It's in there. So you just, you, you take a penny and you just weasel it in there. And because you got it all the way down, gravity will help you. And then I just took a welding wire, and I looked down in there, and I weasel it under the jaw. And then you just take your wrench, and you just, from the underside, just snug the jaw up. My reasoning for having a sweatshirt here... Is if that falls out of there, hopefully it won't go ding on anything and hurt itself. So, if I can get that set up, I'm in business. Okay, once again, if this works, boy, am I really clever. I took two pennies, like one here and one here, because of how this jaw is shaped like that. So it's got a point here and a point here instead of a point all the way up here. So, I stuck some pennies in there with 3M double stick foam and um, that's only I could get them to stay in there and still get it back in here and everything. Anyway, it's kind of a falcon falcon mind fuck to get this right um, because you've got two jaws inside and two jaws outside you, you have to really pay attention to how you're adjusting this if your high spot is here you can't 
I mean, you don't want to adjust this in if it's not very tight or you'll drop the pennies out of it. So you have to tighten this one up. You have to snug this one and then loosen this one if, if you want to go a little further. But um, I'm not really that tight yet, so I'm going to just keep running around. But anyway, yeah, just wanted to show you that. Um, you don't tighten this one. You tighten this one because you're wanting to pull it that way. Okay, here's my setup I did. Um, used 3M foam and pennies. And it worked just fine. So, there's the groove. And now I'll try for gapless rings. 